Well, more than a week later, the president's remarks are still creating quite an uproar among millions of America's small business owners. Joining us now, business owner who says when he heard the president's remarks, he said it felt like he was being punched in the face. Juan Pons is the owner of JFP Inc. Incorporated, a Raleigh-based printing company. Welcome. Nice to have you here today. Thank you for joining us. Well, thank you for letting me state my opinion. Well, let me ask you, why did the president's remarks make you so angry? I guess I'm looking at what, uh, what it went through for me to get started. And I first got to throw in there, at no time did I say anything else was wrong. I do believe in that village. My problem is uh, the village he's talking about is a government. Uh, the village that I'm talking about that did make me successful are the individuals that are my clients, my employees, my family, my business partner, and also my Heavenly Father. That's the village that's made me successful, not his government. But, but he didn't mortgage his, his house like I did or like my business partner did. And that's what's, that's what's uh, punching me in the face. You've worked really hard. Uh, you've served uh, your country uh, with being a soldier, uh, as a Marine uh, in Somalia, in Desert Storm and others. And so you've given back in uh, a, a, an amazing way. Let me ask you, though, when you started your business, did you ever feel like you wanted to turn to the government to help you out? Yes and no. Uh, at first, no. I, mean, we, we, I had worked for 20 years, plus I was with another company, and, and, and there was some money that had been saved up, and we knew we could mortgage the house to try to get started. We then started to try. Once we got started, we, we talked to some banks, and the banks were telling us no, and a lot of it was the paperwork that was involved in doing a government-type uh, loan, one of the Patriot Act uh, loans. Uh, they just didn't want to mess with it, so we ended up having to, to scramble and find a bank that finally would take a chance on us. So you other small business owners uh, have worked so hard to become a success. Why do you think the White House then is saying that small business owners aren't really going to, you know, hurt uh, going down, going forward when it comes to the issue of taxes, when it comes to the issue of jobs creation, et cetera? Uh, the, only one I can, the only way I can explain it is this. Uh, obviously, I'm in front of a camera now. If I wanted to start, uh, if I, if I want to do a video shoot, I'm going to ask what's called an SME, a subject matter export, expert. And, and so I'm going to ask the guy that's filming me, how do I get this done? I think the reason they're going the route they're going is that they're not asking the SMEs, the subject matter experts, which are the small business owners. Um, and I'm hoping someone's lying to me here, is that I've just heard that uh, it's been 160 days since the president has talked to the job council. Uh, the GPD keeps go, uh, going down, further down. He's not talking to the individuals that are on the street that truly know what's going on. I, I think that's the problem. And so do you think going forward really quickly that uh, the president is doing enough in terms of damage control? Because he says he didn't really mean uh, that in terms of the way people are taking it, some people are taking it, that he didn't, uh, he didn't really mean that, you know, you, were, you, you, didn't, have, you, you didn't have help. Yeah, uh, you know what, a, a lot of people are scrambling to, to, uh, to justify what he said. None of them are even saying the same thing. And that, that concerns me, that there are so many different uh, reasons that he made this comment are popping up, up from uh, infrastructure all the way to uh, uh, the actual teachers, a uh, road. Uh, my family in the past has paid taxes for me to benefit from what I'm doing now. Don't in one breath tell me that it's the government that's helping me, and in the second, in the exhale, you're telling me, you're throwing it back in my face that I cannot use it. Uh, no, you can't do that. All right, uh, Mr. Pons, thank you so much for joining us, and thank you for your service to your country.